Hey, hello folks. Welcome to our new tutorial. This is Ajay and today we're gonna see how we can add or integrate the loader or spinner to our app. To add this, we will use the React advanced concept uh, that is nothing but the use state hook. So there are several hooks React introduced but we will use the use state today. We can add this uh, without the hook as well but I prefer uh, we will use the hook. So alright, so guys, if you are new to channel or new to this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you will have the notification of my coming videos. So before we get into this, let's see how our application or how our spinner will look. So let's open the console panel first. So I have already added the React Tools plugin. As you can see, uh, we have the app and inside that you can see we have the one hooks variable and where the state we are currently putting as a false so guys you can observe when i click on the this button so i have added one button uh, click me and fetch your data so this is like uh, if we think about our scenario inside the project where we have to uh, show the spinner until unless we get the data from the any api so let's click on this button you can see we have a spinner if I click again, you can see our state is true and it is again false when we have the button. So this is what guys we will build uh, step by step today. So guys, this is our initial boilerplate. So I have removed some code over here. So first step, what we have to do, we have to add the use state hook, which is a core part of React. So let me tell you about the use state so use state is like uh, it will return in a pair so first one is a state variable and the second one is the function which will update that state so we will see how we can add that so let's add it's loading then set loading where we will use the use state and inside the use state we will initially pass the false boolean value so inside the header let's add the pr tag here just want to line up it so here what we have to do is floating then nothing that we want in the else what we have to do Insert here what we have to do we have to add the button which will use to so here what we will add on click based on on click what we will call one function fetch data and then so we'll give the label as a click page your data again what we have to do is loading inside this let's create one view inside view let's add a export tag and here fetching your data so insert this let's add image so uh, let's have some style so width so width i'm taking as 200 pixel and the same about the height and also we have to add the c equal to image we have a loader dot gif so guys i'll uh, always remember like if we give the path like this so, so we don't have to import an image or anything so we just have to put our image in, inside the public folder you will get the easy access to our images so this bracket should be closed here only and also instead of equal to start the colon. So guys, let's uh, what we have to do now. Uh, on click of a button, we have to show this image. So as we have added the ternary operator, like uh, if we have the is loading means is loading is true, but initially it is we are passing as a false. 
to the use state hook so what we have to do we have to make it true so we have to add the this function so const so inside set loading true and inside we have to set timeout so with this uh, we will pass after that we our set loading value uh, again the false means we will get the button again so guys we have one error so let's close this view so all right so let's check our app so guys you have the button let's open the console panel as well so we have the react app tool so we are having the false value as we are passing the false over here so let's uh, click on the click to fetch your data so let's click you can see uh, we have our loader as well and if you if i click again you can observe our state value change to true and after define the seconds our value get set to false again so this is what guys we want to do today so what i will prefer you, you will use this uh, functionality inside your project whenever you require the loader where we you have to uh, wait until you get the data from your api so all right guys i hope you have enjoyed this so again if you are new to channel please go ahead and subscribe so that you will have the notifications my upcoming videos have a good day thanks